Hello, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is October 15, 2016, uh, Saturday, sometimes, somewhere. Okay. What I wanted to talk about today is racial segregation. and the effect that it has in everyone that's involved and how it is carried out by the state and the federal government know exactly what is going on because it's a bigger or, or it is the policies of the empire of the United States of America that control the masses and continue to advance the Zionist terrorist uh, international terrorist organization agenda that is well known and uh, nothing, nothing heading. Okay. It is. Ha it has been happening for many years, everywhere, and that's an old thing. It is the way men control men and want it to be worshipped or people control the vast majority and continue to enslave them in their minds and everything else control them by brainwash and indoctrinating and give them no other choice but to be subjects to the this tyrant system that it uh, continued to enslave and commit crimes against everyone and everything. Now let's look at the smaller scales and the reason I'm gonna be talking about my experiences as a Muslim uh, from Middle East, from Egypt originally, that has been living in both uh, side of the fence as you may say uh, in my youth I was in Alexandria Egypt grew up there and then I stayed in Cairo uh, for five years and then I left all together when I was 24 most of the time I have spent in the Western civilized if you may say <laughs> world or you know the west europe and the united states of america mostly united states of america namely southern california and other states uh, southern states and also back east one of the my most favorite places that I've been going back and forth to now it was alarming to live this way of life and discover that the United States of America preaching and brainwash and control over the globe it's all words that has been thrown here and there just to control the masses and continue to commit the crimes against them keeping them in the status quo 
and give them no other, give us no other choice but to be enslaved within this satanic uh, way of life. A lot worse than the Farahina. A lot worse than the Farahina. Now, it, I'll go back again 30 years ago, my daughter. American mix with Egyptian, <laughs> which are African, <laughs> All right, North Africa, and then Omar and Hamza, or Mexican Egyptian, then Hannah, Suzanne, Somalia mixed Egyptian Caucasian then Matthew and Yasmin Jasmine are also Caucasian now it is a struggle it is a struggle because racial profiling and racism prejudices or practices against everyone it doesn't have any color ethnicity or religion it could be done by a person that you know uh, within you know Arabic or white or blacks within the same race it is <coughs> it is a, an illness it is an illness and the government uses that and promote it to continue to commit the crimes against everyone. Again, the Zionist the international terrorist organization are the one that they're laughing their way to hell. <laughs> to hell, because they think that they're going to continue to commit the crimes against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger and humanity and get away with it. 2006 I won't go but prior to that, but this, just, this is because of time at school and uh, uh, racial uh, segregation uh, took place. Uh, but, you know, my, uh, children from different uh, ethnicity or mixed, or even uh, poverty, you know, it doesn't matter who they are, white, black, whatever, they put them <coughs> in a certain neighborhood. And uh, they call them this and white trash or whatever. They, they think that, you know, we have the right to commit crimes against everyone and everything. Your Belinda, uh, Placentia, your Belinda, Unified School District, and Yorba Middle School, uh, Van Beyond. Uh, middle school also and also um, Morris Elementary and then uh, um, Valencia High School uh, the, the other one it's uh, anyway you know what I'm talking about and how they subject to everyone just to, to place them in the system and in the meantime have them as an accounts and it could be anything now the individuals that the uh, they 
carry it out and commit these heinous crimes, they have an easy target. An easy target. It was, was so easy for them to do. And it was so stupid for them because now they have to live with the consequences. You see, they do. They mess with the wrong person. Not because I am, uh, you know, I am from Ummati Muhammad and we live for justice and freedom and equality for all. It doesn't matter what the consequences we're going to face or endure. We enjoy the ride. We enjoy the jihad, the struggle. And uh, Alhamdulillah for giving me these opportunities to Alhamdulillah, I am I'm very pleased, Alhamdulillah. Now, that was done back then, and I have enough exhibits and evidence and record many conversations and many uh, email correspondent and everything. It's, it's all documented. And... Uh, federal government has no answer they don't have an answer they're just thinking that uh, as they do they put it in the back burner and they keep jerking, jerking people around putting them to sleep to a coma and uh, they think that the time uh, things will be forgotten and they will continue to commit these heinous crimes against everyone and everything <clears throat> now it, it repeated itself now because I am doing this with my uh, fiance and my step children uh, it, it is it's the same it never gone you know it never improved or uh, it's a lot worse than before actually it's a lot worse than before because now they are just flat out committing the crimes and telling you, well, <laughs> we'll shoot you. <laughs> or we, we'll give you a, a terrorist thing so we can get some money to, uh, you know, get more money for the FBI or for the police department or sheriff or whoever they are, you know, covering America. And uh, continue to commit the crimes and think that they own everyone and everything. Uh, San Bernardino County, uh, San Bernardino uh, City Unified School District, Riverside uh, Unified School District, many cities, uh, many schools, uh, they all committing the crimes and think that they have no. Uh, they shouldn't get any resistance or any even question. You know why? Why are you doing this? Do you, well, you know, it is unbelievably uh, arrogant of them, stupid. Because they're not even they they don't they're not smart. They're not smart. They're ignorant. And they commit the crimes and they think that they're going to intimidate everyone and everything or by, you know, the moderate Muslims or whatever Christians or whatever it is, group, non, uh, non-profit uh, organization that that organ, that fraud and that kill and that and that not will protect them and uh, continue to commit these heinous crimes against everyone and everything by keeping them in the status quo, keeping everyone in the status quo as a revolving accounts. And in the end, we are not really human beings, we are subjects. We are subjects to, to the ill, these fraud, fragile activities and crimes against humanity. And uh, I just keep telling them that this is not going to jive because La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. And uh, we do have an obligation to our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's why we are living for this is why we've been created for to 
worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshiping is many things most important thing to do justice for all do justice because this is our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala okay may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity I just wanted to continue to emphasize and try to bring it to the attention of the United States of America government to look into it they know exactly what is going on and uh, try to you know to take a, a, a step take a step to root out corruption and to uh, to do uh, live by their uh, in the, in the, <laughs> Apply the, your constitution of the United States of America. What happened to that? What happened to that? Okay, and uh, stop the crime within. Within, we can prevail and be a great empire if you have all these illnesses and injustice within your boundaries. And uh, this few criminals think that they have the right to continue to fraud everyone and commit the crimes against their own people, own children, own elderly, own everything, just to for, you know, love of power and greed, they're going to end up, you know, have to answer. That's it. I just wanted to bring that to the attention and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity we are Ummati Muhammad, we are not Fasir, we are not moderate Muslims, we are not homegrown Imams we are none of the above, we just work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala li'a'la kalimat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh